loss of Qasem Soleimani is a heavy blow to Iran. He was a war hero, the commander of Iran's feared Quds Force, responsible for secretive foreign operations. He wasn't well known in the United States, but he was one of the most powerful figures in the Middle East, sometimes even touted as a possible future leader of Iran. For America, though, General Soleimani was a problem. In April last year, the U.S. designated the Quds Force a foreign terrorist organization. We are sending a clear signal, a clear message to Iran's leaders, including Qasem Soleimani and his band of thugs, that the United States is bringing all pressure to bear to stop the regime's outlaw behavior. The Pentagon says Soleimani was responsible for the deaths of hundreds of American and coalition service members and also approved the attack on the U.S. Embassy in Baghdad this week. But even many of Soleimani's enemies admitted he was a military genius. He spearheaded Iran's involvement in the Syrian civil war, helping to shore up the Syrian regime's grip on power. And in Iraq, ironically, he and his forces were on the same side as the U.S., fighting against ISIS.